I'm Thelma Washington, and I'm the Executive Director at Gertrude Walden Child Care Center, where we continue to serve children of essential workers. So our center has been open all through COVID, serving children every day. Today we have 85 children in attendance, and we serve children ages 14 months to during the regular school year, it's through, through them going to kindergarten. This summer, we also have elementary school age children because a lot of them didn't have the help at home they needed for the distance learning. So we also provided the distance learning. These are our two-year-olds. Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning. And they just came in from recess. So we have happy smiling children that's enjoying being at school. You all say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So it's, it was important for us for children to be in a healthy, safe environment while their parents work so that parents don't have to worry about their children. Um, we provide breakfast, lunch, and an afternoon snack. Our meals are catered through the Martin County School District and are transported over daily so that they get to not only learn, but they get nutritious meals as well. And they're washing their hands. And they know as they're washing their hands, they wash, wash, wash. They sing the birthday song. So it's a 20 second wash, where they wash them, they wash them really good. And with one of the programs that we do with the Martin County Health Department, we also do toothbrushing. So they get to brush their teeth as well as wash, as, as well as wash their hands. And we have children that's hanging, hanging with their friends. So you see the, the cute board. The teachers do a great job with their bulletin boards. And we have nice, bright, colorful rooms because we know with this pandemic, parents are frustrated being at home with the kids so long. I think if nothing else, it has taught parents to have a whole new appreciation for teachers and all that we do, no matter what age we are of educating children. And they love dress up play. As you see, that's dramatic play. They just like... <laughs> so it's much action. So you see it's a lot of movement in preschool because it keeps them active. We do a lot with literacy because we know how important reading is. So we do deer bags, which stands for drop everything and read, where the child takes home a bag with a book and an activity. The parents read the book to their child. There's open-ended questions to ask because it gets the discussion with the parents and the children going. And there's an activity for them to complete with their child. So if it's a book about kites, we have the items in it to make a kite. Um, blueberries for sale had a, all of the ingredients for them to make blueberry muffins. One of the requirements at Gertrude Walden is that every parent um, volunteer 20 hours of school year. And most of our parents end up with over 100 hours because of all the activities and events that we have going on. So while we've had reduced enrollment a couple weeks ago, we were privileged with a generous donation from Treasure Coast Community Church to get our kitchen redone. So we, have, we do a, a Thanksgiving feed, a Christmas feed, and an Easter feed. And Gordon Malarski and the congregation at TC3. So this is our cafeteria and this is where the kids eat breakfast and lunch and they have snack in the classroom. We have a lending library where parents can check out books. Again because we know the importance of reading and literacy. The more you read the more you know. All right so now we're going to go on over to our VPK and our computer lab. We have three playgrounds. This is our toddler playground. And not only do we work with staff, but we have volunteers as well that come in too. So this is our toddler playground. 
And we have two pieces of playground equipment that was donated by Palm City Presbyterian Church. As their congregation grew and they um, removed their playground, we were happy for the growth in their congregation because we were blessed with the two pieces of playground equipment. And then this is our preschool playground. This is where our, our three-year-olds play on this side. Good morning, Sydney. Good morning. Hi, Kalea. Hi. Oh, nice fly. Nice fly, Isaiah. Careful. Hi, Justice. Hi, Justice. Oh, you having a good time? So we have a great view, great, great weather, and way else but in a beautiful city of Stewart can you get all of this while learning at the same time. Hold on. Ready? Okay, you got to pump your legs. Move your legs. Move your legs. You got to move your legs. Do your legs. <laughs> Is that fun? Yeah. All right, you holding on tight? Okay, you ready? Oh, thank you, Messiah. Thank you, Messiah. She's going to come and push you a lot, okay? All right. Yes, and you too. Hi, Hazel. I see Messiah's pushing you. Good job. And with our outdoor covered play area here, Junior League of Martin County, um, provided that along with donations in memory of one of our volunteers that passed away, Valerie Wright. And Valerie Wright had been an avid volunteer at Gertrude Walden for years as well as Junior League. So in her memory, this was one of the things that they did. That plus books because Valerie loved reading and her daughters Lisa and Layla love volunteering at Gertrude Walden and believe it or not, Lucy and Layla are now in college. So it's hard to believe they started here volunteering when they were three and six years old, coming faithfully with their mom. So now this building is our VPK building, and this building houses our four-year-olds. And these are our kids that, that'll be going on to kindergarten soon. So they're doing a lot of, hi Hunter. Okay, so they, oh, we got the Giggly Girls. That's the Giggly Girls corner. <laughs> so we have them and so all of these kids are, are have since turned five and we'll be off to kindergarten in the fall so hopefully we don't know if it'll be in distance learning or actually in person and this program is funded in part with the United Way of Martin County so so much of what we do here we wouldn't be able to do without United Way. So we are very grateful to United Way as well as so many others that help us along our way as we educate 125 children usually. So like I say right now we have 85 but we are making the best of this situation and making sure even those that we have that's doing district learning. ELC is also providing virtual um, lessons that the kids can do that we send home to parents so that those that's not here are not losing, losing that learning time. We also put together backpacks for our kids that's not in school right now as well because we know with that gap, there's a learning slide. That's the whole purpose of us having the summer slide program so that they don't lose what they what they've learned this year before they go back to school in August. So, and usually we have two um, BPK classrooms, but with us doing the, the kids that we're doing from the elementary school, we've kind of split it up. So, and then over here, we have our computer lab. We have the kids from elementary schools all over Martin County that are here doing their, doing their work. And they come with their, some came with their laptops, but now that school is out, they're using the desktops here. Some still, I see one that still has his laptop that he brings in. But they're doing a lot with the iReady as well as Starfall, ABC Mouse, and some other programs. So we have kindergartners, first grade, second grade, third, fourth, and fifth represented in our program this summer. 
And we have volunteers from the boys from the Boys and Girls Club that's volunteering with us as well. And we just want to make sure even children from working poor families have the help that they need to succeed. We don't want them to fall behind. We want to help fill in the gap. And with the volunteers from the Boys and Girls Club, we're, they're able to assist us in filling in that gap so that there is no loss of learning. Because that was one of the biggest things we worry about, especially in this community, is making sure the children have the help that they need in being successful and making it work every day. And this is another room. We have a, a multi-age group here because we have a few of our kids as well as some of the kindergartners and first graders that's here for the summer again so that we are filling in the gap. So again we have our volunteer from the Boys and Girls Club here helping out and again again so much of what we're doing this summer we couldn't do without all of the organizations work together because you know it is it does take a village and we're happy to have so many organizations and agencies as a part of our village because so much of what we do every day we couldn't do it without the collaborations that that we do then over here we have the vpk playground And once again, this was a piece of equipment that was donated to Gertrude Walden by Palm City Presbyterian Church. We have our VPK garden that the kids grow. You can tell it needs a little work because our collard greens are, are a little old. We have sugar cane. So, and they're then, um, they had, they've had watermelons and a couple things that they've then planted and, and been able to cook and eat. We also have a community, a garden in the community that House of Hope does that um, the parents in the community get to get from those as well. So again, so much of what we do every day, we couldn't do with, without all of the agencies that we collaborate with to make it work. And that's how we've been able to be successful even during this pandemic. I think if you're asking how you could help or what could we do that helps it's time for us to have the playground, the, the mulch. We have um, rubber mulch that was donated by Junior League of Martin County. So it's time to rake it back and straighten up the bedding and re, um, lay the bed, the linings to put the mulch back on so we don't have the pieces that's up. And again, the playground could use a little love and tenderness with pressure washing the playground equipment. We're still in need of a new shed for storage and just books always books we we go through a lot of books because it's important to us for every child in our school takes home a book once a month so that we know at the end of the year they end up with at least 12 age appropriate books that they get to keep at home so that they can be read to as well as read to their brothers and sisters and each, each other because it was interesting that in one of our family nights one of the moms said to me you know miss washington Thank you for this because I was never read to as a child, so I didn't know the importance of reading. So some things you think everyone knows and they don't because guess what? If you've never been taught, you don't know. So it's our job here at Gertrude Walden Child Care Center not to just educate our children but our parents as well because so often, you know, we could all use a hand, a hand up. Hi. A hand up. So this is Trinity and Justice up. And Landon, and they are happy to be here as well. Come on in, you coming in? You coming in? All right, all right. My little girly girls. So it's always nice to have my girly girls. And, and the thing is, they're building friendships that'll last a lifetime. Okay, you all can go play. See you later, have fun. <laughs> so thank you for watching. If you have any questions, Visit our website, www.gertrudewalden.org, or you can call me at 772-283-6321. Thank you for watching and enjoy your day.